To find the perimeter of this object, what we are going to do is pick any starting point on the outside of this shape. I'm going to start with this point right here, and I am going to jump from one grid mark to another grid mark, and that would be a distance of one unit. For example, from here to here is a distance of one. This would make two and three, and we can go all the way around and just continue counting by ones. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So just by using the grid located on the outside of this shape, we can just count by ones all the way around and we would say the perimeter of this object is equal to 20 units. Another way to calculate the perimeter of the shape would just be to figure out what the length is of each side and then add all of those sides together. This side right here has a length of 4, this side has a length of 1, this side here has a length of 2, this side has a length of 2 as well, this side has a length of 2, this side has a length of 1, this side a length of 4, and this side also has a length of 4. We have 3 4's and 3 times 4 is 12, we have 3 2's and 3 times 2 is 6, and we have 2 1's which gives us a sum of 2. Adding all of these numbers together, we still come up with the answer of 20 units. And that would be the perimeter of the object shown on the grid.